What's going on, people? Welcome to another edition of the Living Day by Day show. This is your boy, Preach Elder Brown, and we are so glad to have you to be a part of the family. Once again, we're so grateful for uh, 108 Praise Radio, where we be voicing the gospel. That's right. You can catch us here every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 9 p.m. Every Thursday, where we be bringing you nothing but the best. Hot topics, hot music, hot everything, because that's how God laid it out. So again, we want to welcome you to joining us to another segment of the Living Day by Day show. And uh, let me tell you, I got firepower. Firepower is in the building, uh, as we do every time. All the time. We never do this by ourselves. So let me tell you the lineup today because it's a major hit. Check it out. We got the baddest comedian, because he said he's the baddest comedian, plus he paid me to say it, so it's okay to say it. Uh, <laughs> e Love is in the building. Eric Jordan is in the building. Thanks for that <laughs> check, man. <laughs> you know also, <laughs> right. He's going to give me for that one. Uh, yes, comedian. Eric Jordan, that's right. E Love is in the building. Come on, E, say something to the people, man. You, you know what? I think E don't uh, yeah. lose his spot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think he just shot me for that one. And, and his also, mic ain't even on. <laughs> right, his mic is. Listen, guys. He, he, if y'all know E Love, he will. He will <laughs> there he is. See, I can't. I don't owe nobody no check. You love me. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh, man. That's right. That is E Love. Uh, he is in the building, and as he said, he owes nobody no check. Also, that other voice, you guys know who that is. You know who it is. That is Elder Lakiba Wallace, the woman who came up with this vision. Come on, Kiba, talk to the people. Let them know that you're here. Yes, I'm here. See, my mic is always on. So, hello to everybody out there in Radio Land. We are so excited. I don't really need to do a re-intro because Elder Brown has already done the intro. Oh, I like that. And so just want to say hello to everybody. We thank y'all for tuning in to another broadcast of the best show there is. That's the Living Day by Day show every Thursday, guys, from 8 to 9 p.m. right here on 108 Praise Radio, where we be say this together, voicing the the gospel. That's what we do here. Because we're all about the Lord of Lords and the King of <laughs> Kings. And with that said, we're going to quickly go into a quick prayer because it don't take 50 minutes to get Jesus' attention. And so, right. Father God, we just thank you so much for this day, God. We thank you, Lord God, that this is the day, even though it is 8.04 here in the States. Not sure where it is somewhere else, but it is 8.04 p.m., God. We thank you so much for this day, God, that you have given us. We thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us, God. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us, God, shall ever be able to prosper, God, because of who you are and not because of who we are, God, but because of who you are working through us, God. Because we know, Lord God, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, God. And we thank you, Lord God, for your blessings. We thank you for your covering, God. We thank you, Lord God, for how you just keep us, God. Even when we don't deserve to be kept, Lord, we thank you for your keeping power, God. And we just want you to know, Lord God, that we do not take your blessings lightly, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that all blessings come from you, God, not from man, God. So we're thanking you, Lord God, for those blessings that are coming from the north, south, east, and the West, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for thrusting us, God, into abundance, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the prosperity that rests, reign, and rule over our lives, Father. And right now, God, we come boldly to the throne of grace, God. And we ask, Lord God, that you continue to keep us in your bosom, God. That you continue to be mindful of every need, every want, and yes, God, even every desire, Father. We thank you, Lord God, how you set us up, how you elevate, how you increase. Come on, somebody. Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord God, for who you are, Father, because all things are in you, God. All things are possible with you, Father. So we thank you for being with us, Lord God, every step that we take, Father. For you said, Lord God, the steps of a righteous man, Lord God, are ordered by you, Father. So we thank you for ordering every step, God. We thank you for this show. Bless it, Lord God. Let it get into the ear gates of somebody who needs it tonight, God. We just thank you for the Living Day by Day show. We thank you for every host. We thank you for 108 Praise Radio, God. We ask that you do only what you can do, God, and that's the bless, Lord. 
We thank you for it. We honor you today. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all said... Amen. Amen. I feel it tonight, guys. Hold on, wait a minute. So Hold thankful. on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting two dollars in the plate. Wait a minute. Yes, I got things. <laughs> two dollars. I got you. I got All you. All I know is what he was not speaking at my uh, Thanksgiving. Mm, what? <laughs> God is my a good God. Right. My you know what? <laughs> Don't you pray over the food, okay? <laughs> My so we thank God so much, you know. God is a good God, you know, regardless of what they say it right now. God is a good, great God. And I'm yeah. just saying, oh, no, 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 no. Now, at Radio Land, don't be, don't be calling, give me hate about prayer. He gave a good word. I, 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 I yeah. understand simple times that, but when it's time to eat, all we need is good God, <laughs> bless, bless the meat. We don't need to thank the hands that. They toe in the dip in the dip. Yeah, see that? Uh, yeah. See that? People, people know how to pray. You need, you need, a, you need a brother who just fresh out of just knowing Jesus. Because he's not gonna, he not gonna go a lot. He's not gonna go that hard. For a person that's season like Lakeba, he gonna go hard on the meal, on the meal. Hey. Like, oh. <laughs> you, you gonna, you gonna get up off Kiba. You gonna get off Kiba because I'm a little, I'm a little mad over here because my ice cream cold. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you know what? <laughs> she she prayed, made my ice cream cold. I, Whatever. <laughs> Y'all know Nobody we just having fun. The woman of God prayed. We thank God for her. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all are too yeah. much. Y'all are too much. But I know we have some amazing. Well, first of all, we have an amazing show because that's what we do. We just have an amazing show. And guess what? Before we get into the hot topics. I just want to tell Radio Land that, well, I'm not going to tell you everything, but there is going to be a major, major announcement that is coming soon. E-Love know about it. Preach know about it. It's coming, guys. I just have to keep lining some things up, return a couple calls. But I tell you, God, I, I, I try to tell people all the time that God is serious about the Living Day by Day show. You may not be serious about it, but I promise you God is serious about the Living Day by Day show, and that's all that matters because you might not be serious today, but you mess around. God will get in your ear day to make you serious about the Living Day by Day show. I often tell people all the time, they think I'll be joking, but I'm serious. You mess around this anointing right here. You mess around and you're going to slide in some oil. <laughs> you're going to slide this oil right really here oil. for real. Really you're going to slide in this oil over here because God is serious about what he is doing for the Living Day by Day show. And it's not just for Lakiba, It's not just for Elder Brown. It's not just for Ela. It's not just for 108 Praise Radio. But it's for everybody out there that God says, I need for you to hear that word today. I need for you to be encouraged today. I need for you to be inspired today. I need for you to know who I am. I need you to know that I'm able to do all things. And because we make ourselves willing and open to do what God has called all of us to do, He's serious mm-hmm. about the Living Day by Day show. I'm done because I'm feeling real empowered today. Y'all better grab this mic. Oh, and bless so God. With yeah. that said, let's get into the hot topics because you'll get a sermon today. You'll get won't he will. You'll get yes he will. You'll get see, see, he can you do go. all things. You'll get you better back oh. up because God is able to do all things. Don't come over here unless you, hey, as they say, don't come for me unless I send for you. That's what that said. Y'all go ahead, please. Go ahead. Please, you better okay. take this mic now. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, yes. And uh, just FYI, side note, we got to get a uh, little hot topic thing to pop up before we give the hot topic called Won't he do it? And yes, side God, note, we'll, put that do it. We'll, 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 we'll put that together later. Courtney, talk to me. All right, so hot topic this afternoon, man, 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 we got so much going on. Hot topic, uh, we got so much going on. <laughs> oh, we need to do that for real. Uh, hot topic, just like that, uh, preach. Yes, that was good. Right. All right, so right. let's get into the hot topic, man, 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 man. I don't know if y'all heard. Ti yeah, got locked up. What? Ti. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, yeah, he's out wild. now. Okay, so this is the story. This is what they're saying, what happened. T.I. was going, you know, T.I. lives in a gated community here in Atlanta. And he was trying to get inside, and the guard at his gated community was asleep. So he went to go wake him up, 
You know, mm-hmm. you sleep and you somebody over you and wake you up. You're like, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you like, get out the booth. And so, right. uh, word is that T.I. got inside, went to the house, and came back and grabbed the friend. And he was ar- argumentative to the security guard. So, the security guard called police. Now, in the 911 call, you can hear T.I. in the background, you know, yelling and fussing. And now they want to say that he got, they, he got arrested for uh, disturbing the peace. And he also got with uh with part of the same alcohol, but my whole thing why he didn't get a DUI because of the alcohol type stuff. So I don't know. That's a little fishy to me. So uh, tip, keep your nose down. So we don't we don't need you going back to jail. We don't need nobody taking looking in your house, taking checks and stuff. So tip, if you listen, man, we got you back. to chill. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, like, what are I, the I, album I, so the security guard at the front gate know who you are. Put the album cover in your car and pull it out, but he doesn't know. Pull out one of your albums, your, uh, your platinum um, <laughs> pull out front, so he can see. Say, oh, Tip, come on through. But he may not know who you are. He may he a rental car. He don't know who you are. He don't, he don't live in that neighborhood. He don't know who everybody in that neighborhood. So uh, you know, mm. they don't know. They, 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 we all look alike to them. Hey, they think they over in Japan when they look at us. We're all 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 dark skinned people look the same. So you know, hey, Japan. I well, moving on with the story. Okay. No, I know you're how, how, you gonna, how you going to move on? How you going to move on? Like, yeah. like, you want to say something about that? Like that? I, I'm, I'm like, sorry. you think okay. I can say something? Yeah. No, I'm go sorry. ahead. Sorry. I, I, how I how you going to call the police on me and I'm in my neighborhood? What, what, yeah. what kind of mess is that? Right. I don't get that. I don't get that. Trump America. We think America's great again. Listen, and I'm going to let you get on, but I don't care... Who you call? I'm in my neighborhood where I got the right. mortgage and the keys. Might not have them tonight, right. but I got the mortgage <laughs> and the keys on this. And you going to question me about my address? Oh, the devil is a liar. No, not today. Right. Yeah. I'm going to cut a fool. I'm, let, let me just yeah. let y'all know right now. If you ever not let me in my gated community, I'm going to cut a fool. I'm, I'm just, just, yeah. just put it out there. This is the key, but I'm going to cut a fool. And then I got to pay the mortgage. On the first of every Monday, you're going to tell me I can't get over right. here? No, no, no. That's not even going to happen. <laughs> but you know what? Right. But you know what? If, we, if we cut a fool, we angry. Why you got to be an angry black man, angry black women? They cut a fool. Oh, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Why? Why you, We, we got to be aggressive and angry. We can't never be angry and upset. What? Come on now. Yeah, y'all let, about to take me somewhere. Let, 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 you, let you get out in your gated community and you can't get in. You're going you gonna, to... I have a fence, but I say you to calm down. But you're like, don't tell me to calm down, buddy. Right. You know? But it just goes well, back, and we're going to jump yeah. to the next topic. I know Elder Brown has mm-hmm. something to say. But it still goes back to, um, Jesse, we have to balance this out, but it still goes back to that there is how blacks respond is always received, not always, let me correct that, how blacks respond can oftentimes, that's better, be perceived as being aggressive or out of character, but then you'll have another ethnicity that will respond the same way or worse, but it's justified. Okay, I'm done. Elder Brown, please, because I'm going I'm to go. Well, I'm going to die. Okay, so, I mean, I understand this, and I, I read the whole story. I did check it out, and uh, here's, here's a couple of things that uh, made that scenario look bad. One, black. Oh, I, just, I, hate to, I, hate to, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Black. The gentleman that came to co-sign or to help tip out, he had a warrant. Uh, <laughs> no, no, don't do, that. don't do that. He had a no, warrant. No, that's what so, do. Do. So, so, you know, so it kind of. Yeah, that's why you gotta check if you get it in your car. Oh, you got warrants. You gotta get it in my car. <laughs> so, so it already went left field. Now, uh, Tip had a little something to drink. Okay, and that's not to blame for that. However, uh, Tiny was on the phone. He had her on the phone. So he had clearance to get in. However, the guard was awakened out of his sleep. Now, you guys got to understand this. I don't know if you, this is going to sound funny. Can I crack a joke? I'm not a comedian, but let me crack a joke. Have you all ever been asleep? Have you ever been asleep and somebody woke you about to sleep and it startled you? It takes you a minute to kind of get your, your bearings rolling, okay? Now, here it is. It's already 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. This dude wake out of his bearings, 
to this guy who says, hey, man, I'm trying to get in this gate. And for that few moments, it just went and escalated. Now, here's my point of the whole matter. First off, bro, if you sleeping at the gate checkout, you need to find yourself another job. Because there's going up. to be people that's going to come up in there who may not have their key, who are not used to you, you know, and you're not used to them. So you're not used to seeing these people face. So when you change that whole diaspora of being in there and you sleep, and then I come up in there 4 o'clock in the morning saying I left my key on the, on the coffee table because I want to go get some milk, I'm trying to get in, and I'm not trying to hear you. So uh, I think that situation escalated, and it just went sideways. You know what I mean? But Tip, wow. man, if you're listening, Tip, if you're listening, let me tell you, you are absolutely right. You deserve to get into your house any time of day when you feel like it, and that's that's my that's my bottom line about it. And he didn't really, uh, you know, he he, he could he could have went left field. We know Tip. He could have went left field. He did. Right. So big up, big right. up to you, man. Yeah, that was just that was just one crazy incident. It seemed like it keep rolling on uh, for craziness for for black people today. Uh, but it happened a while back. Um, you may have seen this. Where uh, these people are getting ready to barbecue. Have anyone ever barbecued at a park before? No. What does that? Well, how does that work out? Yeah, we barbecue. Okay, well, you they, they have parking now, but they have grills <laughs> where you can go out there. You can grill, right? Yes, well, sir. Uh, Evidently, uh, these, these these guys getting ready to grill, and this 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 uh, Caucasian lady walks up and says, "Hey, y'all can't grill right here." They look at her like, "Uh, no, nah, we can grill right here. It's, it's a park. We can grill." She proceeded to call the police. It was berating these dudes. A lady came up and was videotaping her. It was like, what are you doing? Why are you bothering these guys about a grill? Because this is a law. Is that this grill right here, you can't do charcoal in this area of the place. It's over on the other side. This is my part. I've been here before. I know you can't grill. And call the police. And then when the police showed up, they already, he had like... He was the one being attacked. Turn around with crying <laughs> and shaking and acting like, oh, God, they harassing me. Oh, now, God. Think of how if this lady had not shown up and was videotaping this. And when the police showed up, he's not been crying about how these people mess with how they mess with me. What do you think was going to happen to those guys? You ain't got to see them. We all know. They're always in jail. Get back to them on so that's just crazy how things are not escalated to how people just want to call the police on people. Uh, I'm sorry we need to have that rule in place <laughs> where you call the police and it's something crazy, they need to charge you. Wow. What y'all think? I mean, look I'm, at I'm, this. It, it, that, that's another scenario where things that went left field because you know, that brother that brother really could have handled that lady. Like, you know, who you think you is coming over here with your phone and your cop and you trying to do all this, that, and the other. You know, I mean, it's good that we have a lot of these things that are happening and it's kind of showing you that, you know, we know how to de- de-escalate a situation. But a lot of this stuff could have went left field. Man, this woman, mind your business. Let me fry my little meat and you go do what you got to do. But now, here's the thing that really gets me. Um... I'm on the boat of all of this, but y'all really making this lady famous because every time I open up Instagram, I got this, this, this white lady with these sunglasses on making me think she with the CIA. So I'm driving down the street <laughs> thinking this lady's going to be popping up everywhere. But she on every Instagram photo. She on every um, Mimi. She's on yep. all through Facebook. She's all through Snapchat. She's all through Twitter. So even the, 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 the negative connotation that came from her kind of break of this barbecue, people are making fun of it. But guess, guess what? Even though that happened that way, they're still making this woman famous. And she's probably just laughing at it. You know, yeah, it's a Mimi. But let me tell you, after a while, it's going to reach the media. After a while, she'll be on Fox News. And now people are going to be like, wow. So you got to understand how, how this is working out. I saw her on a flyer with T.D. Jenkins, and I promise you, I thought T.D. was all in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't with y'all. I'm right. <laughs> serious. But you're right, though. You mess around. She's going to have a show in about two weeks. You're right. You watch what I'm saying. She's going to have a show in two weeks. I'm, I'm telling you. She's going to have a show in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> What's 
the next my, hot topic my, my, you got to eat. My question, <laughs> my, my, my question is this. Is this the new, uh, is this the new cop show? Is, is that a new cop show? <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, well, you know the, the cop show where they call they, they the police chasing criminals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, you know, what we call it, what white people call call them police or whatever. Is that the new? Is that a new TV show? That's about to I guess so. You know, we 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 got this thing in America where we call trolls. These are people who are picking people on 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 uh, social media and bullying them. Let me tell you, right. taking this woman's photo cropping it out and putting it on, hey, I think they're over here frying too much chicken. Hey, there's the big black guy over here talking about get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, <laughs> you know, Praise Radio is voicing the gospel. I don't know if they some most will be doing it. <laughs> See, that's unnecessary. This ain't, <laughs> yeah, this ain't, this ain't making things worse. It's making it good because here you have a woman who nobody knows. Now everybody knows. So I, I think it's it's a PR move if you ask me. So all the people that are doing this woman's photo, you think that it's it's funny right now, but you know, don't say nothing when she's on Steve Harvey. Don't say nothing when she's on Good Morning America because this is what you promote. So uh, I, I want to see her on one of my flyers so I can say, oh, there, there he is again. He's flying off to another place to preach. I don't know. This might yeah. not be right. <laughs> She's going to yeah, be standing point. Sunday at Pentecost Sunday at your church saying, I'm making sure they're putting the offer money in the plate. <laughs> oh, that's a funny no. meme. I'm going to do that. No, too much. <laughs> what, what's the next hot topic, E? <laughs> Man, the last one, the, the last uh, hot topic. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can't that one right there. Let's bring up the monotony. And hot topic is, my daughter, man, she got all these awards. I'm so super excited for her. Shout out to heaven, Lee Jordan, making the awards at her school. She was doing up. Y'all can follow me on Facebook. Y'all can see her walking across the stage, getting all these awards. They got to build a trophy case for her. This time, keep getting too many awards. Awesome. Now, that is truly a hot topic. We have to take the opportunity to really, really just encourage and acknowledge our children, you know, so that yeah. that's a great hot topic, but that is a word right there, E. You just, you just minister to a whole group of folks right there. I have to make that sure lady you acknowledge gonna, in your household. That lady's mm-hmm. going to show up when you open up your door tomorrow morning <laughs> with that phone in her hand saying, yep, she got an award. I see it in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it because they, uh, it's between a word is black people out. Uh, clearly, got three. Um, they got seven or eight. They got eight. They got eight awards. Uh, wow. Yeah. Listen. I know y'all are wondering when are we going to go on a break to play some music? Cause y'all know we silly. <laughs> Our first half, we were just straight silly. You know, God is good, and we have the joy of the Lord that is definitely resting inside of us. But we are going to go into a commercial break. We have an amazing guest. Always, all of our guests are amazing because we are yep. amazing hosts. And we just hang around amazing people. That's just how it goes. We are amazing. That's so good. I want you to make sure that you tweet, Facebook, text, go knock on somebody's door, do whatever you got to do. Stop what you're doing. If you're doing something right now, and spread the word that the Living Day by Day show is live right now, guys, on 108 Praise Radio, where we be voicing the gospel. That's We're listen, going into, listen, yes, listen. Going into a commercial yes, break. We We're coming back, and we want you to come back with us with a friend, I don't know, you can bring an enemy if you want, because probably before the show is over, we'll turn that enemy into a friend, because the power is resting in the living <laughs> yeah. day by day show. That's how we yep. do it. It's some power up in here. Don't get it twisted. You come in here unsaved, and you will be saved, because that's who God is. But we're going into a commercial break, guys. This is Elder Lakeba Wallace rocking here on the living day by day show with Preach Elder Brown. And comedian E. Love Jordan. This is the Living Day by Day show. We're going into a commercial break, but we'll be coming right back. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. What up, everybody? This is your homeboy, comedian E. Love Jordan, representing Living Day by Day radio show. And you're listening to what? 108 Praise Radio, the voice in the gospel. Won't he do it? What up, everybody? This is your homeboy, comedian E. Love Jordan, representing 
Living Day by Day radio show. And you're listening to what? 108 Praise Radio, the voice in the gospel. Won't he do it? What up, everybody? This
Man, I'm up in here with this living day by day show for real. <laughs> yes, and we, they they would never let a uh, two cat man hang by himself. So uh, <laughs> they had to go ahead and give us a, a super super woman that's hanging they with had us too. To. Uh, Lakeba uh, uh, Lakeba Wallace, uh, go ahead and speak to the people. Hey there, welcome back, guys. What's up, Radio Land out there? Welcome back to the hottest show, of course. That is the Living Day by Day show. The second half is going to be greater than the first half. How about that? <laughs> so I'm just excited about what God is doing. We have an amazing guest that's going to just really inspire you, encourage you, do all that good stuff. And so we're just going to go ahead and kick it off and get into the show. And so Eric is going to intro our guest that is ready to just greet y'all and just tell y'all all about who she is. Man, okay, so I'm going to be introducing this person right here. I thought it would be very awesome to bring her on. Um, I think she's awesome, not just because I'm related to her, but, yes, I'm going to go ahead and give a warm welcome, like a uh, living day by day radio show can only give to the one and only. She's now only an author. She's a motivational speaker. Uh, she's a coach and media influencer. Put together for my cousin. Everybody can't say that. This is my cousin, Tinsley Bradford. Woo-hoo. Hey, yay. What's up, cuz? <laughs> What's up, cousins? How are y'all doing? <laughs> did, I, did, I, did, I, did, I, did I do it good, Miss Tinsley? Did I do it good? You did phenomenal. So you are now safe. At the family reunion and away from the family reunion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if y'all don't know, we talked about this off air. I said, I, I, we got to make sure I act right and be good. But she won't be beating me up at the family reunion. So now I'm safe and I'm good to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you are. You're good to go. <laughs> so I know I know a lot about you, um, um, uh, Kinsley. But I know a lot of our radio, um, radio listeners may not know who you are and what you do. So tell a little bit about... Um, about you being an author, a motivational speaker, coach, influencer, what, 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 what do you actually do? Oh, my goodness. So I have my hand in a bit of everything. My passion and my niche is empowering women to make wiser dating choices and stop settling for less than they deserve, not only in relationships and love, but in life, period. So being on this oh, wow. show, the living day by day, show, I feel like I can really relate because I'm living a settle-free life every single day. So that is part of what I do as far as the relationship part because we cannot continue to just sit there and go, well, that's just how he is. I'll just deal with it because at least he gives me money. That's one thing. Ooh. Um, I have the oh, honor wow. and the opportunity <laughs> of coaching women who want to get out of stuck, and they may be dealing with situations where they were devastated, dealing with traumatic or bad breakups, having hard times bouncing back, but they have a gift. They have a vision and a plan, but they're stuck because they're still living in yesteryear from where that person hurt their feelings or they feel broken. They don't feel like they're enough. So I coach and I empower and I have a few clients who I'm doing that with right now. So that's the coaching part. Um, the motivational speaking part that my cousin talks about is I go out and I travel around the world, you know, in different cities many times right here locally in Atlanta, and I just simply uplift women and men to just make wiser choices, to get up off their butts and do whatever God has ordained them to do and not sit around making mm-hmm. excuses, but make moves. And that's what it's all about because we can do a, a whole lot when we sit around and actually try. But when we sit around and don't, that's when it becomes a major, major problem. So that is exactly what it's all about. Wow. So you, you said a lot right there, but one of the things that stood out to me, you said settle free. Uh, is that a settle-free lifestyle? What, 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 what are you talking about when you say settle-free? Oh, my goodness. So it all started when, like, a long, long time ago when I found myself. Yeah, I'm guilty of it, too. I am guilty of it, too. I found myself settling for less than I deserve. I was just dealing with any old mediocre behavior. You know, I just was dealing with whatever they wanted to put out there. However, that guy wanted to treat me was good for the moment, and I was okay with that because I felt like, well, at least I'm not by myself. So in reality, I was dealing with it because I felt like I didn't want to be alone, but I actually was settling when I looked at it over time and um, how many times I was dealing with it. I didn't even realize it, but that's what I was doing. So I decided to, you know, write this book called The Settle Free Dating Magic Women, and this book is phenomenal because I'm so down to earth in it where I'm telling you Mm. 
real time. I'm talking about real stuff. I don't hold back. I mean, I get quite ugly in there, to be honest with you. I can make somebody mad in that book. I piss some people <laughs> off, I think. You know? <laughs> but Did you mention names? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't mention that part. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay safe. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go get the book because I'm gonna call people out. <laughs> see, see. Unfortunately, like unfortunately, I know, I know. Unfortunately, that part's not in there. That part is not in there. But I definitely, you know, give scenarios of different things that people can go by when they're making their decision. You know, to make it easier for them, and that's exactly what it's all about. Um, and I and I learned. I had to learn, you know, my lesson as well. Wow, man, that is that is so inspirational. Mm. Definitely. Mm. And you are a phenomenal young lady. From I have to say this, from one phenomenal young lady to another. It's, we just gonna talk you and I. We gonna forget about the guys here on the set. And you and no, I just you a woman to woman dialogue. That is right? my cousin. <laughs> that is my. Cousin. <laughs> I don't care about that at all. I don't care about that at all. I want to first say I really commend you for the accomplishments that you've had and all the things that God has already afforded to you. And thank you so much for taking on the mantle to impart life and wisdom and encouragement into everybody, but especially women. We care not that the men don't. As long as y'all are not bashing the men, but women we carry so much and oftentimes we need that encouragement just to get by, just to make it day by day. With that said, I want to talk a little bit to the single women. Because oftentimes you, you see women, we're single. I mean, we got it going on. You know, we're working, good jobs, living good, driving good, all that kind of stuff, banking good, got good health. Good health is good. You don't, you know, if you don't have good health, none of those other things matter. But with all of that said, and you have all these guys, and I'm just going to be transparent. They hollering at you, and you have in your mind, because some people say you're judgmental when you say, listen, like, I really don't want to talk to you. It's 12 of y'all, and 12 of y'all I'm not interested in. So what do you mm-hmm. say to that young lady who, it's not that she is being judgmental, but it's just like, you don't want to settle. You don't want to settle. I'm not saying that you're not a good guy, but you're just not good for me. But what would be your response to those women who are just, they single, they wait in, they're a good catch. But mm-hmm. they just, mm-hmm. The rod just ain't, the fishing rod just, it's in the water, but it ain't found the right fish. Keep bringing up them rusty boots. Keep bringing up them rusty boots and them rusty, and them yes, rusty anchors yes, and all See that there. stuff, See, I you know. You I knew you could relate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so Lord. first of all, to keep up. Thank you so much for that lovely, um, positive message you just said about me from one phenomenal woman to another. I totally appreciate that. That makes me feel wonderful. So thank you so much. That was beautiful. Um, uh-huh. I just believe that women who second-guess their decisions are settling when they do that. So if your gut notion is telling you something's not quite right, then it's not. Um, I, I look at something that I talked about the other day. If something feels off, then it is. We have to start using our gut notion and go, if this is feeling away from me, it's because it probably is. And there's a reason why that saying, use your gut feelings, go with your discernment, is out there. And we question it. We try to rebuke it. We try to avoid it. But there's a reason why. So for those women that's waiting and they know that they're a good catch and these people that have come along are not what they feel is a good match for them, I say kudos and continue to do that because what you're going to do if you don't do that and you let someone, you know, verbally attack you and go, you think you're better than me or you think you're too good or whatever, let that fool say what they want to say because already (laughs) that's showing their immaturity anyway. They're immature because they can't get over the fact that you didn't choose them at that time. And see, note I said that time. A lot of times we have to understand the timing could be off at the time. That person may very well be someone you somehow run back into or she runs back into in the future. But at the time, it wasn't right. He just needs to get over it and move on. Either bring something that's of value Mm. to woe her or woo her, bring something to make her go, wow, I'm going to give this guy a chance, or get to stop it. Nobody don't have to prove anything. They don't have to give you a chance. You know, they don't have to say, okay, let's go out. If they don't want to, they're not feeling it, they don't have to. So, ladies. When you, before you choose to settle and say, well, I'm going to do this because I don't want him to look at me funny, we've got to stop giving a crap how someone looks at us. We got to stop giving a crap what somebody thinks about. I mean, it's just time out for that. Because when you start doing that, the next thing you know, you get in too deep and you're looking crazy going, I should have never talked to this dummy. Because you knew the signs were there early on. 
And I'm not trying to say all of them are the same, but chances are they are. And if you said to yourself, okay, this guy's doing things I ain't feeling, I'm not going to move forward, and he gets mad, it's time to say next. That's my signature word. I don't know if y'all know or not, but <laughs> next is my signature word. I always tell people, I'm going to show you how to get to the next level. And they don't quite understand. They have to put the pieces mm. together. There's two next levels. There's the next level in your growth and your evolution of your business, and there's also yeah, okay. the next level. Next level. When you start to say next to these suckers. Wow. Cut my mic because I'm going to go somewhere. Elder Brown, you better jump in. You know what? Can guys say that too, Nick? He can say Nick. Come on. Guys need to tell me girls Nick. You know what? Guys can say Nick all they want to. They can write a book about it just like I did. But I'm going to focus on the women who I right. feel need to say it. See, make, but I do think let, men let, can say it, too, because settle free life is all about settle free life, no matter if you're a man or a woman. That's what my settle free life is all about. I like that. Thank Listen. you. I just want to say, men, you can say it, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you just joined this show, I promise you an amazing show. We thank you for joining the Living Day by Day show, guys, powered by 108 Praise, uh, 108 Praise Radio, where, of course, we be voicing the gospel. If you were listening to that young lady talk, that is the phenomenal author and plus motivator, motivator, motivational speaker, motivator speaker, and I got to say power speaker, uh, Tim well. Bradford. Um, listen, this is Preach Elder Brown, and I'm trying to get in, I'm a, you know, trying to call a little bit before I get up in here because it's real hot and spicy after all that you just said. But I got to get in here for the men because you really, really laid a strong platform. And I feel that the men are now they're trying to figure out who in the world, who does she think she is? Well, I just <laughs> told you who she is, a power speaker. Now, listen. Okay, so um, in this settle free, I got a hashtag this could be a sucker free life, too, because what you were saying, this mm -hmm. is, no, I'm serious. It's, you're basically saying, Listen, uh, I'm about my nickels, my quarters, my dimes. I'm about my life. I'm about my living. I'm about real love. I'm about real concern. I'm about my heart. And I'm also about being sucker free. So, um, now, for the men. Absolutely. I, I'm trying to help myself here and help myself here because uh, <laughs> this is, you know, for the brothers. I don't want them sleeping on the couch tonight. But um, th there is this stigma, of course. There is this stigma when uh, we know that the Bible says that when a man finds a wife, well, the apostle says, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtains favor of God. Is that the scripture? Somebody say amen, please. Amen. 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 Wow. <laughs> amen. <laughs> so, 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 so keeping this in mind, Okay, um, you, you have to understand, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm tying this into what you were talking about as far as motivating the men and motivating the women, because I think that when we read the scripture and we understand that, okay, I'm looking for this woman that I'm going to make my wife, and according to the scripture, I don't really have to really make her a wife as far as position. The Bible said he that findeth a wife, meaning she's already a wife when he finds her. So he ain't got to be her a wife. He ain't got to put it in her a wife. She's already there. She has everything that God has instilled into her. Now, what you have to do is you have to make the wife part of her to become personal with you. So when you find, when you find a man that comes together with a woman and we deal with a gut feeling, we deal with a gut feeling and trying to operate in the, the ramifications of I'm not just looking for a man, I'm looking for someone who can call me his wife and who can operate into the husband's field. Now, you being a author and a powerful motiva motivational speaker and understanding through the trials and tribulations of what you've experienced, can you tell our listeners, I had to bring it all the way around there to get to where I'm getting to now, can you tell our listeners who are Let's say they're dealing with this. I feel like I have the right woman. I feel like I have the right man. But even though we are pushing for people to follow their gut, their heart and the spirit seems to tell them that this is the right person. 
But then the natural stuff makes them like, oh, I don't like the way she did that. Oh, I don't like the way he did that. How do you handle them to say, wait a minute, don't throw in the towel, fight a little bit longer. Maybe it ain't the gut, it's just the butt. Not the B-U-T-T, but the B-U-T. Mm, Am I making any sense? I like that. You Am are. You're making, making sense? sense. You absolutely make it sense. Um, well, that gut feeling and that, you know, that feeling that you, that butt feeling that you quoted where you're saying this person seems like the right thing or person, but I'm not feeling this. That's called focusing yeah. on something petty. One of my good friends talked about, um, she put a post up not long ago that says, focus on the person, not the petty. If the Lord is telling you spiritually, this person is for you and it feels good, you feel like this person is for you, but because they don't put ketchup on their hot dog and you feel they should, that's petty. If you're looking at them like, well, I don't <laughs> like the way they wear those shoes, that's petty. If you're looking at them, right. well, when he eat, he chew and he smack, that's petty. So you're looking for things to pick apart and find and flaws in something beautiful, and you might wow. run it away by being too judgmental. So that's a different kind of but. If you're judging them on that, the love must not be real because if, when I love somebody, I might joke around and go, girl, stop smacking. Boy, stop smacking. When I say girl, I'm talking about my daughter because sometimes she smacks. I'd be like, if you don't stop smacking, I know something. But I'm not going to put her out the house <laughs> because she's smacking. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if I'm dating a man and he's done something that's annoying, but we in love, we doing this thing, we compliment each other, we doing the business together, we both making big power couple moves, why would I sit there and get mad at him because he need a line up today? Oh, I don't like him right. because he's right. not lined up today. Or, and oh, I don't <laughs> like the way he, you know, wear them pants. He looking kind of tight on him. If anything, just suggest, hey, baby, those pants weren't the ones. I like that suit you had on last week. <laughs> it's ways that you can still motivate and empower wow. and get your word out there and get your point across. So that type of butt is, to me, very petty. Um, and wow. my good friend is my lovely friend, uh, the Nina mm -hmm. Mitchell Blackwell, who um, and I wanted to mention earlier when I was talking about my um, the things I do, I know that he had mentioned I do a lot of influencing as well. So PR is one of them. I've had the opportunity to cover so many great events under the magazine Bold Favor Media Group, which I'm a part of as well. So I wanted to make sure I brought that up because we've done some big things. But Lenina Mitchell is the one that actually said that quote, focus on the petty, focus mm -hmm. on the person, not the petty. That's how they get okay. past it. Focus on the person, okay. not the petty. Okay, so they're able to get past that part. Now, let's go to the next stage. Now, the next stage is we don't, uh, we don't you know, as often as we used to back in the old days, you know, they used to say, okay, credit, you know, uh, background check you know, uh, all these different kind of things that make the relationship supposed to be more focused. Uh, do you agree that we live in a now century, a now time, and a now era? Do we really need to do, we really need to do that still? Or do we just rely and believe and trust God in that relationship? Let me tell you something about that. And I have dealt with that, and I have also had people coaching clients, people who I'm coaching has dealt with that. We got to stop judging people. You see all these big, right. powerful people in the world who have made it from sleeping in their car, who have made it from being homeless, who have made it from having horrible credit and being evicted from their home, who have made right. it and turned their completely life around. Do you know where they would be right now if they didn't have that testimony? They probably wouldn't be doing the things they have to do. You got to get with wow. people who can see the future and stop focusing on your flaws and your have-nots and your setbacks. Right. And that's the problem. While I do agree you don't want to plan to be with someone that's broke and struggling, I get it, but guess what? If you're dealing with a person who is powerful and God has touched and put here and given a vision and a plan and a purpose and they're right. stepping and walking in that purpose and you see that they're heading somewhere and they're going to do good things, they may not be perfect. They may have messed up along the way with some credit. Things ain't where it's supposed to be or where you would like it to be. But guess what? That person is an awesome person and you see that and you see them making right. moves, you know? And I always say this too, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Those are worldly things. And you know those things can be replaced and replenish. And once that person learned that very valuable lesson that God is teaching them right now, they're going to be around the right people who get it. The people who understand, mm. yeah, I was struggling for a minute, but look at me now. I'm back on my feet because I believe not right. only in God, but I believe in myself and I had faith that, guess what? I was going to get through it. You're going to have to be with somebody who's willing to get through it with you and understand, okay, this person sat back for a minute, but it's not going to be forever. If you're dealing with people mm. that's looking for some kind of come up, right away in that relationship, you don't need to be with them anyway. You need to be with someone wow. that's coming. You heard the saying, be with somebody that's helping you unpack your luggage instead of complaining about how much you got. 
You know, we, we oh just play too many games God. in relationships. We play too many games. You either want the girl or you don't. You either in love with her or you're not. Quit playing the games of what you got on your credit report. Fool, what do you got? How you looking to pass speedos? I want to see your body. You know, it's like everybody wants us to be fine. They want us to be perfect. They want us to be flawless. You walk around looking like your nickname is Hubba Bubba. Boy, please. Wow. You know, we have got to stop. We've got to stop okay, it. Okay, good. We, we, we got to stop it. I'm getting mad. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> wait, wait. Did, did, you say, did you say I want to see what you look like? In a scuba diving suit. What did you say? Listen, I want to see listen, your body. Listen. You want me to stop? Your body, I want to see your body. You want me to look sexy? I want to see what you look looking like. What you working with underneath that shirt? <laughs> Lord, I got guys. Listen, let me we see your robe. Hey, hey, hey! I, I, I hate, I hate to break up this this wonderful conversation, man. Cousin, you, you, you came and you brought it. Uh, but we about to, we got to get ready to go to a quick break before we wrap everything up. So, in thirty seconds. Give your information to where people can reach out to you if somebody needs a coach, a motivator, author, uh, an influencer, how they can find you and reach you. Absolutely. Um, can be, I can be reached on Instagram at Tinsley B. That's spelled T-I-N-Z-L-E-Y-B. I can be reached at TinsleyBradford.com, which is my website. There will be a contact me link coming up. In July, July 20th and 21st, I'm going to be at the Behind the Beauty Experience Retreat that's uh, organized by the lovely Tanisha Bibbs. You want to be there. It's going to be by myself and eight beautiful women up there speaking. We're going to be telling the truth. I'm covering Settle Free. So come follow me, Tinsley B. We're going to be taking you somewhere big. I'm also sponsoring this amazing um, poetry contest July 12th through the 31st. You can still sign up. Get details on my page at Tinsley B. Well, thank you, Miss Tinsley Bradford. That's my cousin, y'all. That's my cousin. Man, hey, thank cause. you so much for coming on. Thank you so much for and, and sharing your wisdom on um, settle free is better known for the guys sucker free. So we right. I know that's so right. <laughs> I had to say that though. I had to throw the, I had to throw that in there. I had to put the sucker free in there. I love that. Yeah. There's time that I do that. I'd be like settle free and sucker free in my hashtags. I love it, preach. Wow. Dang. Well, we man. Do. But thank well, you we so gotta much go for tuning in. Break. Yes, break, break. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we gotta cut the break so we can get ready to wrap up the show. Uh, y'all listen to 108 Praise uh, Radio, posting the gospel. We'll be right back to the Living Day by Day radio show. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yay. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Minister Lakiba Wallace, and I'm coming to tell you about the hottest magazine in the nation, guys. That's the Living Day by Day magazine, a magazine that's full of quality, a magazine that's full of content, and a magazine that will bring you an avenue of information, an avenue of education, and an avenue of inspiration. If you want to be featured in the magazine or you want to advertise in the Living Day by Day magazine, make sure you visit www.livingdaybyday.net or feel free to hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, or on LinkedIn, or feel free to send me an email at Lakiba Wallace at AOL.com. That's L-A, K-S and Catherine, E, B, like boy, A, W-A-L-L-A-C-E at AOL.com. No more waiting, guys. Get yourself a copy of the Living Day by Day magazine via www.livingdaybyday.net. Be blessed. Hey, what's up, everybody?
Right now, I'm standing here with Robert Hawkins, who we just heard a few minutes ago, all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now, Robert, this isn't your first time on the Word Network. You started singing background, so how does it feel to be at the front of the stage? I count it, <clears throat> excuse me, I count it a joy for what God is doing. God has been amazing, so it's just... Hey guys, welcome back to the hottest show. Of course, that is the Living Day by Day show. This is Elder Lakiva Wallace rocking with none other than the other host of the Living Day by Day show. That's Preach Elder Brown and comedian Eric Love. We are all in the building just doing what we do, and that is voicing the gospel, guys, right here on 108 Praise the Radio on the Living Day by Day show. If you miss the first half and the second half, I always like to say, you miss God. <laughs> you got to say it yep. like that. Because you truly miss a treat. The guest, guys, oh, my God, like Eric. I almost want to say, where well, you found her? <laughs> but I know that's your kid. <laughs> <laughs> Family. <laughs> oh, my God. Such an amazing young lady. God has really done amazing things in her life. I mean, she really comes with a lot of substance. Good work. She comes with a lot of substance, a lot of information to give out. So I'm sure... Everybody out there in Radio Land, I'm sure y'all definitely got a treat. Your plate is full tonight for real, definitely for real. But I hate this time of the show, guys. I hate to use that word hate, but I do. I hate when we have to close the show out, but we do. We have to close the show out. If you are wondering what show was that, where you been at? We've been broadcasting live since a. A 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys, right here right. on the Living Day by Day show. Where you been at? You can't even be grammatically correct with that. Where you been at? <laughs> this is the Living Day by Day show. Make sure you tune in to another broadcast of this great show. Of course, that's the Living Day by Day show every Thursday, guys, from 8 to 9 p.m. That is Eastern Standard Time right here on 108 Praise Radio where we be voicing the, the gospel. gospel. And if you're out there and you're wondering, how can I get on the show? All you have to do is just hit one of us up. We're on every social media site. I promise you, you type in Living Day by Day. Elder Lakiva Wallace is going to pop up. Elder... Brown is going to pop up. Eric Love going to pop up. We're just going to poop. We just pop up like popcorn. <laughs> Make sure that you connect with us. If you have a story, we want to hear it. If you got some glory in your story, we want to hear, hear, hear it. We want to hear it. But we thank you so much again for tuning in to the hottest show. That's the Living Day by Day show. Stop by our website, which is livingdaybyday.net. I'll leave you with this. No matter what they say about you, you stay connected to what God knows about you. <laughs> Until next time, we love you so much right here on the set of the Living Day by Day show. Be blessed. Want me to well, do it? an honor to be able to serve him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Absolutely. Now, your single is titled Happy. Yes. And happy means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. So tell us what it means to you. It means everything to me because you're looking at a miracle. Hallelujah. <clears throat> You're Thank looking you, at Lord. someone that struggled and battled with drug addiction for wow. six years, 18 months ago. Hallelujah. Crack cocaine. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> and I wasn't happy. I didn't understand happiness. I wow. didn't understand joy. I didn't understand peace. All I knew was just bondage, um, defeat. But I stand here today free from drug addiction. 18 months. I'm truly happy today. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I jump, I dance, I shout Because if it had not been for the Lord On my side I knew I wouldn't be here For work that work tonight I probably would have been dead Somewhere sleeping in my grave Y'all would have been coming to my funeral But God saw fit I love him Well you're happy I see y'all happy too So we want you to go ahead and sing happy for us Come on, let me see Woo. you clap. 